our journey began with Sally selecting where we were going to venture over the May long weekend. So she chose for us to be dropped off at Soldier Lake in HRM and be picked up two days later at the far end of Lake Major. This journey would take us all three days to cover the roughly 30 kilometers of a combination of paddling and portages. We managed to keep all of our gear down to around 80 pounds, not including the kayaks and paddles. Soldier Lake, <laughs> get her drop off. My uncle's running out of the yeah, film. <laughs> here. here he's kind enough to take our truck back home and gonna pick us up uh, Monday evening. It's now uh, Saturday lunchtime. Uh, we delayed a little bit today because of the weather. It's uh, just above freezing and uh, heavy rainfall today, but hopefully we'll get the water levels up and give us some, uh, make it easier for our portages. So. All set? No. Show the <laughs> <laughs> we still got to load the gear up into the kayaks and we'll be on our way. Off and running. We're in the water. Truck's getting ready to leave. Sally's ahead of me. Got her gear all stowed. Dragging her fishing license in the water. She's a tight fit here for gear, but we may do. We got her all on board. So away we go. Head up through the channels and far into the lake. <laughs> we found a little bit of a lead in by this island. A little choppy out there for this much gear in the kayaks. So. As we made our way down Soldier Lake, we had a bit of choppy waters along with heavy rainfall, freezing rain, and even the odd snow flurry. But at least it kept the bugs down. jumped ashore because I thought I saw something blue when I was coming up the side of the bank and it looks like I've found somebody's fort or camp or hello anybody here See anybody around? Hello. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Ugh. Definitely somebody living out here, maybe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anybody here? Just passing through. Whew. Definitely a makeshift build.
I don't want to startle anybody in here. Get my arse whooped. watertight. We had a little camp complete with wood ceiling. Oh, that's neat. A lot of garbage left. But how in the world did they get that here? That's heavy. Well, we'll just keep moving on, I guess. I should keep that frying pan. But it's not mine. Which way did I come? Bit of a steep drop off there, so I'm gonna put my phone away because I'm gonna need my hands. Apparently, somebody's a makeshift home. So, somebody was living the very remote life back in here. <laughs> yeah, careful. Slippery. I'm gonna name that Sally's Island. It's small, but it's all I need. Wait, that doesn't sound good. Came up on this little marker, so we came up to check it out. Where'd he go? Oh, he left me. Okay, well, at least the people will know we've been here. Well, we've just gotten to the end of the lake and we're trying to figure out where we've got a portage from. So I'm thinking I have to go through this way and Chan's off that way somewhere looking for another exit. But we'll figure it out. We definitely have some beaver friends here and I'm pretty sure what I've got some cranberries. So I'm going to pick a couple of these cranberries to put in my bannock later, I think. But we won't tell Shani. Andrew Lake for our first uh, portage at roughly just under a kilometer, or three quarters of a kilometer. So we'll make our way out of here and start hauling.
Uh, uh, the trail is uh, pretty good shape. It's uh, been quite a while since it's been used, but you can tell at one time it was cut out and a bit of a path. You see these uh, signs put up by the uh, Department of Lands and Forest back in the day, now the Department of Lands and Forestry, after the Department of Natural Resources uh, changed their names more than uh, the woman on her third marriage. Anyway, uh, you can see uh, you can see you can see the general way down through. It uh, so far so good. Uh, we're on a downhill truck anyway. Well, we made it across the first portage. Wasn't as bad as I thought, but I am severely out of shape. Would you like the honors of getting in first? You have been offered you. Yeah, your kayak's there. You go ahead. I'll watch you fall in and laugh. Yeah, a little gear up there. Film this? And we're gonna stop and re-energize a little bit before the next big cattle. Yeah, talk, eating. <laughs> <laughs> in the water straight. <laughs> Wasn't quite ready for that. <laughs> that was that was close to dipping under. <laughs> To try and portage. Let's see if I can turn around here. Oh, we came out of here. We can see it, but I got to admit, I'm so beat and so tired. We had another 546 meter portage to go, but we can't find the path. And Shani almost broke both of his legs trying to get out of a brook. So we're gonna stay here tonight and then see what we're gonna do and maybe hit some of these still waters and go fishing. But, let's see, we'll do our tour. We're just kind of plopping her down. We're gonna stop right here. And we're gonna camp right in here. That's our plan. Because I am too tired to keep going for today. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, right there, I was trying to cut down a branch. I didn't realize there was so much tension on it, and it decided to whoosh, slingshot me right in the face. So it really, 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 really hurts, but lesson learned, ugh, that hurt so much. Okay, after a minor mishap of attempting to flip my bannock, I did end up with some cooked edible pieces, but not bad for the first effort. It's light and fluffy. Oh, taste test. Oh, it's not too bad. All right, good.
After making camp and a delicious dinner that Sally prepared for us, we ended the day watching beavers work, listening to the peepers, and watching the sunset over the marsh. We will sleep well tonight.